What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I will be bringing you a brand new reaction video. Today's reaction video is going to be on the best bull rider of all time according to this video and according to you guys, that's not according to me, JB. I'm not going to pronounce his second name because I don't actually know how to, so let me know in the comments on how to do that guys and next time I react to him I 100% will get it right. Uh, I'm not going to butcher it in this video. So we're going to check out JB, that's what we're going to call him for this video and uh, I'm quite excited to see what he's about if he is the best of all time. By the way, the Q&A will be coming out in the next couple days, don't worry about that, so if you're looking for it, stay tuned, it will come out, and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, if you hit that every single time I upload you'll be notified, let's try and hit 20 to 30 likes on this video guys, and let's see what JB's all about. Okay, nice little intro here. In the history of bull riding, I would think that JB's got to rank right up at the top. Yep. Nobody's doubt that he is the best. I've never seen a day out of JB where he wasn't expecting to be first. I love that winning mentality. Always expect to be first. Things that JB does, I don't see out of anybody else. Other people put so much effort and so much time into it, whereas it comes so easy to them. He's got Natural a level talent. of confidence that is so beyond that there's not a bull in the world that he believes can buck him off. There's not a title in the world that he can't win. There's not a mountain he can't climb or anything he can't do. Wow, what a guy. It literally sounds like he is at the top of the spot, which obviously this video is about that. Um, but he's not afraid of any bull. And he's like, yeah, I'm the best at the spot. If I do what I do, I'll win. Love that. Oh, this part is amazing, by the way. I can't believe this is a thing. Wow. Yeah, he held it for eight seconds. Pretty brutal launch off there. Let's go back. That was a pretty brutal. Actually, we won't go back. It's quite a long video, but uh, pretty brutal launch off. Wow. What history has he made? There's been a lot of cowboys that have probably picked that easier one or that one that's good to ride. They're probably gonna win some money, but you ain't gonna hear the name. Whose name do you hear? JB. Okay, it sounds like his nickname is JB anyway, so I don't mind just calling him JB. But again, yeah, some people pick the easier route. If you pick the easier route, yeah, you may win some with it, but the ball gets half a score, which you guys have taught me. And uh, if it's not exactly the hardest ride, you're not gonna get the highest scores, you're not gonna know. Sounds like JB goes for the best, and that's why he wins, I love that. He's got the skill to handle He's it. He's the best out there. He can he can ride almost everything. He's won the world twice, and he's won over six million dollars riding bulls. Wow, six million dollars riding bulls. I need to get on a bull sometime. It come to him natural, you know. It's a different thing that most people, I guess, don't have, you know, in their blood or in their body. Definitely you know, a natural just, thing. Uh, Dirty, rotten, tough cowboy. Oh, <laughs> so we're going on a little movie about his whole career here. I like it. I like it. But basically, what we've learned so far is that he's not afraid of anyone, not afraid of any bull, and he was born with the talent. Obviously, the hard work. Talent only gets you so far, hard work gets you even further. He's obviously put in the hard work, but he's got natural talent, which just elevates him above the rest. Being a cowboy is a lifestyle, and that's what I was raised to be. I Not didn't bad. much raised to be want a cowboy. to do anything else. I rode bucking horses, I rode calves. No, not every bull rider does it. Uh, a lot of them guys don't even know how to ride a horse. <laughs> don't want to ride a horse, but... Uh, I'd rather be a cowboy than just a bull rider any day. There you go, he's living the lifestyle as well. Like he says, a lot of them could potentially come from any other background, practice just on a bull. This guy lives it day in, day out, it looks like, and he was brought up with it. And again, that just adds that extra mentality of being a cowboy and riding his bulls. Fair play to him. <laughs> yeah, fair play for that as well. Like, that's very impressive. 
I'm not going to get into the whole is it right or wrong, whatever. Uh, it's impressive you can do that with a lasso, I believe it's called. Fair play. I'd never be able to do that. Pretty cool skill. Hey. That's not going with Ron, wasn't it? <laughs> You could have picked a little slower when I... Yeah, I got him down as long as you get the other rope off. That sucker was strolling, wasn't he? Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> Being a cowboy and not strictly a bull rider helps you. Because, I mean, I'm not just riding a horse. I'm working on my legs, your balance, things like that. Definitely. I imagine being a cowboy... Every single aspect of being a cowboy probably helps. Well, not every single, but a lot of the aspects, day-to-day -day life, helps with bull riding 100%. And this is what I mean, he's, he's lived this life. So he already had an advantage going into it, and then he's putting in the work, obviously, as well. This sport definitely started out as a, a wild and reckless event. 100%. The balance has kind of shifted to where there's the wild and reckless cowboys that are willing to do whatever it takes and there's, you know, the athlete side of things where these guys have really evolved into training hard and spending every minute of every day working towards being a world champion bull rider. Just shows the different sides of the sport and it is an actual sport. People put in hours and hours of time into this to become the best, to become world champion. And a lot of money is at stake. He's won $6 million. A lot of money is at stake for these guys. JB is one of the strangest guys as far as what works for him as a bull rider. Like, he don't work out. He's scrawny. He only weighs like 140 pounds. Wow. Just that natural talent gets him through. Balance for me is a huge part. It doesn't matter how big you are. Anyone's ever tried it, that is so impressive. I, I can't do that. Well, at least I'll be able to do it for a few seconds. That is so, so impressive. It just shows how much balance he has. You're not going to outmuscle a damn 1800 pound bull. Standing on it like that, the way it rolls and the way you have to move your weight is just like a bull. It's worked for me. I feel like that's the main reason I move my hips so good is standing on this thing all the time. I that did it for an hour a day. Everyone has their own training techniques, and I imagine a few people copy him just from this video. Now they know he does that, they'll probably do it as well because he's the best. They'll want to copy him. And uh, people revolu revolutionize the sport, different training methods. Don't focus so much on weights. Again, it makes a good point. You're not going to out-wrestle a bull. Obviously, a bit of a muscle will help you to stay on there. But you're not going to out-wrestle a massive muscle uh, bull, are you? So, uh, balance is a main key, and I love that training. Hey, for a long time, you know, it's, if I didn't have anything to do, that's where I'd be. I'd be inside standing on this ball. Watching bull riding tapes, eating a sandwich. Wow. And you could walk in, I'd talk to you, and never get off the ball. Men know that. A lot of them, they've told me, you're a freak of nature. But they're not here. They don't see what I work at all the time. And I let them think what they want to. <laughs> now everybody asks me, you, you healthy? Well, shit, no. I haven't been healthy since the first time I climbed on a bull. First one I got on, he stomped the piss out of me. Last wow. my liver and broke all my ribs on my right side. They told me it should have killed me yeah it just shows how dangerous this sport is obviously in my last video i reacted to the 2019 uh top rex they were horrible absolutely horrible there were a lot of serious injuries from that video and uh, it just shows show even the best you're gonna get injuries there's no doubt about it and you're never gonna be healthy because of his little niggles and then obviously you get stamped on every so often it's absolutely mental fair play for coming through him and carrying on i thought at first why in the hell am i doing this to myself but the next day, I want to do it again. Passion for the sport, man. I was the kid with the try when the other guys had the talent. I was the one that just would not turn loose. Or I was going to try to do a bitter end. I mean, they'd have to stomp me loose before I was going to let go. And they're the ones who come out on top. He, 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 he wants it. He wants it more than the guys who've got a bit of talent who can just stay on there. And then when he gets the going, he gets tough, they'll go off. This guy will go through the go and get stuff. But you can only beat your body so much before it's just finished. Yeah. Oh God, I could feel really the scar tissue really released right there. That's, that's my strong hand. That's the one I ride with. I wish it was in a little better shape, but it's what I got to deal with. If you can't put it out of your mind for eight seconds, you might as well not ride bulls. If you want to be a like world champion seconds. bad enough, you 
Eight seconds is a long time when you're on them balls as well, I imagine. A very, very long time. You're going to have to learn to ride with pain. You go from January till May almost every weekend, and it's not just one bull every weekend. It's maybe five of the rankest bulls in the world. Wow. I'll come in here and sit down like this to see what I'm doing and what I could do better. Even when I make a good ride, I'll put it in slow motion, sit there and watch it and see what I did wrong. Oh, I love that as well. He's willing to sit there, aspect, like, break down what he's done wrong and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just old things that just show a true champion. He puts in the work after he watches what he's done wrong. Even when it's a good ride, he thinks, oh, that was a perfect ride or whatever. He still sits back down, looks at it and thinks, oh, why didn't I do that better? You know what I mean? Always trying to improve and I absolutely love that. Up until this point right here, I was riding him pretty much like I was supposed to. When he makes his next corner, boy, he threw a little twist in there. Well, that messed all my timing up right there. And I was just a tick behind him, you know, that much. As long as you stay ahead of bulls like that, they don't have any power. But when you get behind like that, that's when they take control of you. They're your dancing partner. They make a move, you have to follow. Right there is kind of the do or die situation. You either man up and keep your hands shut and take what's coming, or you take the easy route out. And again, two champion doesn't let go. But it's amazing what he was saying about the whole uh, you've got to be ahead of the ball and then you've got to always follow him. So much, um, it's not just a simple case of hold on tight and just ride with it. A lot more goes into it. And uh, you got to predict, I guess, as well in some cases. And curveball can be thrown in at any point. It's definitely not just a uh, hold on tight, whoever's got the best grip wins. 100% uh, not. It's just showing me the skill required in it, which I don't really know about, to be honest with you. So it's fantastic to see this. When I go back this time, I know exactly what's coming. Right exactly. there, I'm three inches away from the tip of that horn. Ooh. That's when you close your eyes and hope he doesn't knock all your teeth out. I'm as when dealing with solid. bulls, you have to be a bit wild and reckless to be able to compete at this level. You're riding a wild animal, you know? I mean, anything and everything could happen. If you talk to any so bull rider and they man. tell you they don't have a little bit of fear in them or nerves about them, they're lying, ball face lying to you. Because, I mean, you, you... You can just see the balance on that. He's not out much in one bit, which you, you're not expected to, just the balance of this guy to stay up there. You're getting on a bull that weighs 1,600 pounds to 2,200 pounds. He steps the right way on you. You're dead. It's a game of inches. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's even training his little ones. Hey. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. She sees me limping around and being bruised up and stuff like that, being sore. But I don't think she under really understands that, you know, it's a life and death situation sometimes. 100% mental. I want to be around as much as I can. I want to be a father to her. But it is reckless. You're putting your life on the line every time you nod your head. It just shows the fact that he's always limping around. Even if you do a good ride, it still completely takes it out of you and you pick up so many little niggles. And then there's the potential of smashing your face into the horn, getting stamped on accidentally by the ball. And it's just uh, like, the risks are so high. The rewards are probably not as high as the risks, to be honest with you, but it's your passion. He absolutely loves it and fair play, he's one of the best. JB and not saying him because my son are not too many are like him around here. I mean, you can tell he kind of stands out. You got to have skill, but you got to have a little bit of luck, but you got to really want it. And, and he. That's the main thing. I've said this throughout this video so much. Obviously, you got to have a little bit of skill. Got to have a little bit of natural born talent as well. Everyone does. Got to have a bit of a look. A look is a massive thing in a lot of sports, which a lot of people don't take into consideration. No matter how good you are, if look is against your side, there's nothing you can actually do. But the main thing, you've got to create your own look, and that's by wanting it the most, putting in the work, and then when you're on that ball, not giving up. It really, really is. And they kind of, it kind of comes in with a look, because if you put the work in and try all you can, a lot of the time you create your own look, and things go your own way, and that's how it works out. He's always wanted it.
A lot of it is natural, but JB puts in a lot of it too. Our, when he was younger, he had a bucking barrel that you couldn't sit on there because it rolled so bad there, and he rode it every day for four and five hours a day. Wow. Bad play. You work at it until the very last bull you ever get on. <laughs> I love if that. I feel like I, I'm making too many moves, and I'll come out to train. and just slow everything back down. You get on it enough and you do the same thing, it's repetition, you know? Muscle memory, it comes natural to you. Everything's going so fast, it's gotta come second nature. You better not be thinking about what you're trying to control, because if you do, you're already on the ground. That's where work comes into it, you gotta make it second nature. And the only way you can make it second nature is by putting in them hours. If, someone, if the ball's twisted, like I said in the other clip, if you've gotta think, oh, it's twisted, what do I do now? You're off, 100% off. If you've twisted, you automatically adjust because it's second nature. That's when you become a champion. Them really good bulls, they all gonna kick square over their head. The bull's dropping and you're a little bit back and he's gonna jerk you down. You can jack your knees up in them to stop you from going and kind of, you know, then set your feet back down. If he's just spinning real fast and not kicking up in his butt, then you kind of, you, you lift and pry to kind of lock you in there and then you just make the moves when he's spinning. All these little tips, 100%, so helpful, I imagine, for a lot of you guys who are training. There was actually one guy in my, old, in my previous video who uh, has just started bull riding, and you never know, he may uh, may make it to the big time one day. Look, it's just, just basic training, I imagine what it looks like for a lot of you, but it's just repetition, getting it into second nature. The fight's not really against another guy, it's against the bull. They're a heck of a lot smarter than people think. The difference between me and a lot of them guys going is I pick the ranked bulls every time I get a chance. I want the one that nobody else wants to prove to myself that there's not a bull in here and throw me off. But that as well, he's not even fighting against other people, obviously against the bull, but he's also against himself. He's like, I'm proving that I can take any bull. And I love that as well. It just shows we're driving him. Every time I've seen JB, he really hasn't put much thought into the bull he has. He does best when shooting from the hip. If I don't know what the bull does, then my body reacts on its own. I ride him jump for jump. Love that. If I know what he does, in the back of my head, I'm setting a game plan for him. Yeah, if you know what one does, again, you can predict. And if you can predict, it can help you out in the long run because you're always ahead of the bull. Set a trap for a bull, you get caught in it every time. Bull riding's getting to be a bigger sport. It's starting to become more mainstream. Yep, for some opposite. The generation I see now is getting farther and farther away from being cowboys. I think that eventually it'll consist of just guys that ride bulls. It's going out of style because it's a different age. 100%. I, I mean, I'm not American. I, I don't live it like you guys do. Um, I imagine there's a lot less cowboys now than what we used to be. And when a sport hits mainstream and you start getting people more athletic and stuff like entering the sport, you can't just be a cowboy. You've got to dedicate your life to bull riding. I imagine what it will go down the route of a lot of these guys putting hours and hours and hours just into bull riding. The people relying on the skills they've picked up from cowboy and stuff like that. You just can't do both of them. I assume that's the way it will go. Let me know in the comments if you guys think different. This year, I got that little one for it. You know, I wanted to turn her loose and let her go by herself and let her kind of figure it out all on her own. Right around, right Just around a little here, one. <laughs> okay? Don't go around the shop, okay? I do like it too. Me? I like to go fast, though. It's not a bad life, just getting absolutely taken around your garden like that. I like to go fast. When she's around, I'm a father. But when I crawl off in that shoe, that's when you go back to the reckless side. They come, they change the world of bull riding, and then they go away. That's always made of. Oh. Wow. 
Yeah, you know, this is just a mental sport. That's all I'm saying. Mental, mental sport. Wow. I hope there's never another in Jerry Mooney, but wow, there's fair always play. That's definitely eight seconds. Up, that's going to take your spot. If you're not doing this to be the best at it, then you might as well stop now. I know when I get old that I'm going to be a cripple as hell. Yeah, wow. I'm sacrificing my body. It's going to be tore all to pieces, but I'm willing to sacrifice that to be the best at what I do. Wow, that is the end of the video, guys. And it just summed it up there. He's wanting to do anything to be the best that he will. And that's why he's a top. Yes, he's going to be. He said crippled. I don't think he'll be too, too crippled. But he'll 100% have a lot of aching pains. Potentially a few broken bones. Which will be slow healing in the future. 100%. Uh, but that's the stuff he's gone through. Because he wants to be the best. He's so passionate about this spot. And uh, what an absolute madman. Really enjoyed this video, guys. Maybe in my next video, I'll check out his highlights. On the ball let me know in the comments guys uh thank you for suggesting this as well i'll make sure i put your comments on screen at the start of the video subscribe if you're new and have a fantastic day peace